What's going on guys? I hope y'all are having an amazing day. Me and my buddy John over here, we are having an amazing night. Look at this thing right here. 293.1, this stud sow. And that's not the only one. Oh my gosh, this has been an insane night. Here is six more pigs, a whole bunch that are over 200 pounds. And by the way, look at John's rig. He's got a Jeep Renegade. Do not hate on the Jeep Renegade. This thing is an absolute off-road machine with the winch on it. And by the way, we have all those pigs. We have a whole other batch uh, back over at our dump pile that we were gonna call tonight with at five pigs. I think two of them, no, maybe three of them were, were over 200 pounds. Um, and we called it a night and we checked the camera after we dumped them and we saw a big sounder. So we got on these seven pigs. So we'll go back to that sound or go back to that group over there, take some pictures and I'll get right back to y'all. All right, we're headed to the drop pile right now to find the rest of the pigs to get a big group picture. I'm in my truck with the big pig in my truck. Uh, we got John driving in front of me uh, just because we couldn't even fit this big pig on that rack over there because of how many other pigs we had. We just had to drag it and we didn't want to drag it on the county road. So we threw it in my truck and we're going to take pictures on my truck just because it's going to look a little bit better. But this is 100% the craziest night I've ever had. This thing is an absolute beast. Then we got the five pigs that we started out with. Here's my big pig that was, we waited at 249. Uh, we killed three of these out of one sounder, rolling that video right now. Running right towards us. Oh, yeah. I lost him. They're all around us. Then we killed a solo, which one? There's one, solos. one of these solos in a field. All right, three, three, two, one. Oh. Nice. Then we killed this solo at the very end. We actually stocked him up in the field that we killed all these other pigs in. He got out, we found him in another field, got him. Then after we dumped all these, took pictures, that's why they were all lined up, dumped these right here. We checked the camera. All these are out in the field. So we get on these. And I don't know, do you have anything to say so far? Man, it was a great night. Yeah. I mean, the size of these pigs tonight are probably some of the biggest we've ever shot. Um, and so I'm just happy. Yeah. It's a good night to be out. This, we have several over 200 pounds. This is crazy. Now let's try to get the best picture we can possible. And by the way, I have an exam at 8 a.m. She has work at 8 a.m. What time is it right now? 
339. We planned on calling it quits at 1 a.m. Yeah. And I'll. 12 even. I yeah. We, we were thinking about 12, and now we, now here we are. We're probably not going to leave here till I don't know. It might be 5. We'll see how it goes. But, I mean, honestly, to me, it's worth it. Is it worth it to you, John? Yeah. I mean, we got all this <laughs> nice equipment. Yeah. These guns. It's nice to put them to use. Oh, yeah. We'll show you the rigs in a minute. But on John's Renegade, he's also running the Night Ride Scout, which is amazing. We put that thing to heavy use tonight. But, yeah, we'll get these going, and then we'll show you the pictures of the rig, or show you a video of the rigs because the rigs that we're running tonight are pretty crazy i wanted to give agm a quick shout out for sending over their brand new reacher or reach ir whichever one you want to call it they sent this over to me before they released it and they just released it so i can talk about this but this thing is insane um, i'm definitely gonna have to get a little bit more content on it and make a whole video about this but this is a laser rangefinder scanner so this was the real mvp for tonight so whenever we're stocking up pigs we can know how far they are and then I got a little bit of content of it being used as a little third person camera. So that's nice. It comes with another one of those little camera screw holes so you can screw in an Arca Swiss plate and I mounted it to my tripod. Um, the thing I love about this over the sidewinder is I can put it in my vinyl harness or lay it flat and it automatically senses it and puts it to sleep. So I don't have to worry about putting it to sleep myself. Another thing I love about this compared to the sidewinder is the sidewinder is an amazing scanner, but it's too big for me because I put it in my, uh, marsupial pack and it'll fit, but it won't close. This thing is so small. It fits, sorry, fits right inside and I can close my marsupial pack and it's secure in there so yeah make sure to check it out this thing is insanely well priced here is the final pile that thing is stacked up high we'll take a quick look at our rigs i just built this sem 6 2 by 39 ar completely built myself barrel upper receiver complete lower um put classic ar gold trigger in there that's that's what i had before but everything else i built uh got the agm adder ts 35 640 that uh agm sent over for some testing and i'm running john's uh john's can which is a rugged razor sorry i completely rugged forgot radiant. rugged radiant yeah, radiant radiant rugged radiant sorry and then the classic bog over here john's running a scar 308 this thing is insane with a Pulsar, it's one of the duos. Do you know which one? The DXP50. The DXP50 duo. That thing's pretty slick. We have plenty of footage on that, which y'all probably already saw. And then a Rex Selenium uh, 30 cal suppressor with the Fatboy tripod. And oh, by the way, then we got the, I just got this in today in the mail. The last light rope light did us wonders taking pictures of this stuff. So it was pretty crazy. Um, and now, I met John at a contest last year, and then we recently started talking because we became friends on Facebook, and he's, I'll just, I'll let him take over because we have a company coming up called Nida. I'm, I'm working for him, and he'll, he'll talk more about it right now. Hey, my name's John. Uh, Night Eye LLC is the name of the hunting company that we've just started up. We got a lot of cool things coming, retail merchandise, all in the making, but it's not going to come out till it's ready. Uh, till then, uh, Andre and myself will be posting content using all the cool equipment tools that we have to go out and get hogs. So uh, we're really looking forward to try to push it to uh, get a lot of exposure and have some of our products out by this next pick season coming up uh, 2025. So that's kind of our goal. In the meantime, we'll just be out here playing with toys and shooting hogs. Thank you. So yeah, um, by the time I post this video, we will have the Instagram live, the Facebook live, and we'll probably have the YouTube up and running too. So make sure you check all those out. I will have those in the description. Um, as always, my Instagram will be down in the description. Make sure to check that out for any behind the scenes. And also I will be running the Last Light Instagram page for the most part. So a lot of behind the scenes on that. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I will make sure to get to those as soon as possible. 
and this this was a hundred percent the most insane night we've ever had. Yeah, yeah. And maybe sometime we could uh, we can get together and just give some tips and advice for people who are trying to get big uh, big wins like this. So we definitely have uh, experience and we have a lot of the tools to get it done. Yeah. So uh, maybe we can run some videos and tell them what we're doing to get so successfully, you know, pigs knocked down, so. Yeah, and so for sure, subscribe to the Night Eye LLC YouTube channel. We'll probably have a lot of that kind of content on there. So anyway, I hope y'all have an amazing day. I hope this stuff isn't blinding you too much because this rope light's actually really bright. Um, <laughs> Hope y'all have an amazing day. I will catch y'all in the next video. See ya.